Hey, what's happening, muggles, wizards, and you filthy mudbloods? Welcome to LEGO Harry <laughs> Potter Collection for Yay. the Nintendo Switch, containing both LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4 and 5 through 7. Special thanks to our friends over at Warner Brothers for providing a copy of this game before Halloween! Yay. So we will be going through both games, and uh, this game releases, as we said, on Halloween. And it contains Ooh. the entire Harry Potter collection. So make sure you use your wands to smash that like button and tell us your favorite Harry Potter movie in the comment section below. Warner Brothers Games presents A Tale of Wands and Wizardry and Spiders! And Black Cats. What are you cooking up, kids? Probably trouble. Knew it! Ah, oh, very creative way to show off TT. Traveler's Tales. Tales. Jinx! Now, I've never played the Lego Harry Potter games. So, I. this is gonna be interesting. I don't even know if there's talking in this one or not. I guess we will find out, won't we? We certainly will, Luke. And there will probably be Harry Potter jokes and terrible British accents, so apologies to our UK friends in advance. There's just something about the atmosphere of this game that just <laughs> makes me want to be a wizard, even though I'm a muggle. Hello, Dumbledore. Oh, it's back when there was no voices. Yep, this is how Lego games used to be. This is how Lego games mm -hmm. were when we first started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. All the all the humor was slapstick. And this is where babies come from. He has the scar. Oh my gosh! I wonder if he is. Oh, it's time for dinner. What's this? Hogwarts? Give me that! No, you can't have that. Oh. It's the mean old... Oh what is it, uncle? Yeah, something like that. He's literally licking his plate clean. Yeah, so they keep trying to get him the invitation. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, the kid is just like, Dinner. Ooh. Yeah, so... Take that, you muggles! Okay, that was an interesting oh jump skip. Yeah. Hello! There we go. <laughs> Merry old London. Yeah, double decker buses. Did we miss the line already? You are Lovely wizard, feet. Harry. Oh, uh, yeah, basically. Oh, sadness. All right, here we are. Inside of... I don't know where we are. We're, we're in a probably wizard place. I'm forgetting the name of that big guy. So far, this isn't <laughs> too bad. I mean, it's kind of like an HD update. I mean, I don't remember when the original collection came out because, I mean, I am not a big Harry Potter person. I'm a superhero guy, so... Yeah. I don't know if I should try joining in or I'll just watch you do it. The tutorials is never a good idea for you to jump in because right, it could then. be bad. Oh, there we are, Mr. Potter. Let's switch up to him. But no, there were a lot of Lego games that didn't have voice acting. It wasn't until Lego Batman 2 where voice acting became more mainstream in the Lego games, so I'm guessing that this came out before Lego Batman 2. 
Uh, yeah, could be. Because Lego Batman 2 was one of the first original Lego, uh, stories. Yep, to have voice acting. Yep. And it was original, too. There oh, was also yeah. something called Lego Island that was a PC game that had voice acting. But, uh, oh, I, I believe I'm supposed to go over yeah. here. So... Place this thingamabobber onto this. There we are. Oh, yeah, I don't remember too much about Harry Potter, but I do know that... Uh, right, like, he was staying with his uncle or whatever, and... Basically, his uncle and the family mistreated him, like, a whole bunch. So he was like Cinderella. It was basically Cinderella with Harry Potter, and then... Uh, then he got the invitation, they kept making it, like, he couldn't get it, and... Yeah, but these people are wizards, so they could do anything to get the invitation to him, so sent a bunch of invitations. Indeed. And then this guy, oh my gosh, I want to look up on my phone. I cannot believe I forgot his friend, Harry Potter's friend's name. Uh, the big guy. Hi Hagrid! There you go. Yeah, there we go. He's the famous, uh, your wizard. I'm a what? A wizard. But, uh, what happens no. if I hit one of the witches? That, that's not true. I'm just Harry. Yo, a wizard, Harry. Yeah, I'm waiting for your grandson's Dark Knight to just be like, Harry Potter! Yeah. Because he was obsessed with that, if I remember correctly. Apparently, I've gotten the line wrong all the time. I thought it was, you're a wizard. A what? It's... <sighs> you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? It's... Wait, I thought he just said out what. Oh, well. Whatever. This whole time I've been... Oh, I have a roll technique. Oh, never mind. So now we're inside of more of the wizarding world. Yep. We're hanging out with Hagrid and, uh, Harry. I always think Dumbledore is such a weird name for the very respected, uh, person that, you know, as a teacher, because it's You like... mean Gandalf. He's essentially Gandalf. Uh, yeah, he's Gandalf. There's so many similarities between yeah. Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter that it's kind of staggering. Oh, here we are. Well, I mean, Dumbledore and Gandalf look almost the same, and I always get yes, them mixed they up. Yes, do. Now, did but, we ever do Lego Lord of the Rings on this channel, or was that the other one? Uh, don't recall. Um, I don't know, but... I don't know if I would've... I mean, yeah, there are similarities, because it's like fantasy and... they got wizards, but... I feel like the theme behind everything, like... Yeah, I don't know. There's there are some mean well, Studio C did the best like uh, explanation oh, that yeah, it was. Yeah, they... It was it was very similar. <laughs> because they had Gandalf meet uh, Harry Potter. Because he was looking for Frodo and he ended up meeting Mr. Potter. Yeah, but the whole like uh thing of you know, Harry Potter, he's at a school hanging out and Gandalf is fighting a war, so it's like totally two Why don't you come things. in, actually? Uh, I, think that would be I don't best. know where my thing is. Okay. It took a while for the blonde to find it, so just, uh, jump in and okay. hang out up on there. You're a little hairy, so you don't have many powers. I'm a what? You're a hairy! A what? Oh, well, that wasn't... No, I'm not a wizard, I'm just hairy! Oh, there was a small person up there. And literally, this is our first time ever playing, uh, the original <laughs> Harry Potter collection, so... But yeah, that, um, that Studio C thing with Harry and the wizard thing was pretty funny. It was. Dumbledore and Gandalf. They look almost exactly Aww. the same, but like I think Dumbledore is such a weird name for like a respected professor because it kind of sounds like his name is Goofy or something. I don't know. Why did I steal the spider? <sighs> okay, that's kind of weird. We have to make. Oh, oh I, we gotta I make don't a cauldron. Have, I don't even have magic power. No, you don't. You're just a Harry. It's because I am a wizard, but I haven't really learned to use my magical powers yet. So we need to find different ingredients to put it inside of the cauldron. That makes sense. I don't know why it's not. Because I have to use wow. my ice cream power. Hagrid has to do everything. Now, come back this way, Mr. Potter. Jump on that. Okay. Because you were tiny and small. And then bounce over that way. Well done! Yeah, I mean, it's essentially a Cinderella story because Harry is treated like basically royalty at the school, whereas he's treated like garbage at his house before. So it's like... Whoa! Cauldron has exploded. Is there anything else for us to break? Let's see. 
No, it appears not. So we go th forward. Aha! There we go. That's what super strength is for. Good job, Hagrid. Actually, I don't even know if I have super strength. It's good having a friend who's, like, gigantic in size. He actually is really big in the movies, isn't he? He's, like, huge. Yep. Thank you for the and studs. probably the books as well. Speaking of books... I read half of the first book, but I didn't get really past any of the others. And you watched a lot of the movies, didn't you? Or something like that? Yeah, I've watched a, a fair amount of them. I don't know if I've watched all of them. When we were in Boston, you used to go to the movies a lot. It was, like, kind of your thing. I was never a big movie it person. It helped me take my mind off stuff. Yeah, that's always good. Especially because you were always working to get the channel going and... Oh, yeah. I always thought, well, I'll let you do that, and I'll go watch a movie while you're doing that thing. I wish I had a magic wand to, like, organize my house. That'd be great. Because the wand, it just, like, it stacks everything so neatly and... Oh, A button. What? What? Hello! Is that... Oh, that's what it was supposed to do. He doesn't like you. <clears throat> Peer up. Hello. <laughs> okay. He holds up. What is that, a key? I think so. He was just coloring a picture. So, well, he was getting really into his picture. So yeah, I mean, what's great about these, uh, you know, cutscenes and stuff from the old Lego games is they almost mimicked exactly the scenes from the movies and stuff, so they were kind of parodies of them. But because I can't really remember all the movie scenes myself, I can't... Yeah, yeah that's what was great about when they used to do licensed games, they would definitely uh, make parodies Kind of like silent movies in a sense. They would just have like little grunts and things like that. Yeah, it was like in case you have not seen the that scene, you'd be able to know, you know, I've seen it. Or it kind of gets you up to date on what just happened. Like almost, you know, basically uh, every scene that they do is actually a scene in the movie. So that is but true. Without dialogue. I'm making all these lit up, because I can. I have a wand. Yeah, I mean, I would love to play a Lord of the Rings game, but when they did Lord of the Rings, uh, they put the music and uh, voices on. It was a very tense Lego game, if I remember they correctly. They made it too tense, because... Ba -da -da, um, ba -ba -ba. The music and everything is just very tense, and the dialogue and stuff. Yeah, they couldn't really make... Uh, fun of the game the way that they did some of the other movie stuff. But they did a really good job when they did the uh, Jurassic Park films. I feel like maybe they didn't want to make fun of it because people like love Lord of the Rings so much. No, I, I think they did the best they could, but it was such a serious movie. Yeah, and it, it I was feel like after. It been... if, if it was uh, during the time where they just. Like they did with the Lego Indiana Jones and Star Wars games where there was no talking then I could see that. What is over here? Ooh! I made a torch fly in the air. That was Alrighty weird. then, I think we have to get over to that area somehow. Yes. So we need that tiny man. Where'd he go? He has a key! Oh, that's who you were. Okay. I Only been. goblins can open things. Well... Only goblins can use these locks. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Yay. Look at me, my tiny goblinness. Yeah, maybe I will try being the goblin actually, because he can probably do more stuff than whatever Harry is doing. Only very strong characters can pull heavy chains. I'm not a very strong character. Well, that's weird. <laughs> that's very clever. Oh, I man. Make weird... man. I make weird goblin noises with it. 
X. Sweet! I'm in this thing. Uh, that's cool. Hmm. Yeah, you know, um, a main reason why uh, I didn't really watch a lot of the Harry Potter movies to begin with, I watched a lot of them towards the end, and I watched, like, the first or second one, and then, um, was because I, I'm not a big fan of school, and the whole thing <laughs> the whole thing is, is about school. The like, goblin needs to use his key. Oh. Just, uh, stand over there and hit the A button. Eventually he does it. See? Thank you. Well, I'm quite welcome. Wow, Hagrid is just showing off here. Well, that's what happens when you have a magic wand. Whoa! There's a dude inside the painting! Hello? Hello, dude. I'm just happy there's another LEGO game on the Switch. There really aren't that many. Yeah, I'm excited to see the rest of the... And I'm hopeful maybe they'll do like a LEGO Batman collection. That would be awesome. Yeah, or maybe they could um, redo the Indiana Jones one for the Switch. They'll probably redo those when uh, there's another Indiana Jones movie. Supposedly they're making another one. Hopefully without Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> well, I mean, now he's like canon or whatever. No! No, he's not! His son could be gone! Like... Maybe he went, uh... His son had a terrible accident! No, no, he just, he got married and he left. And we never need to see him again. And Indiana Jones is a grandfather. That would be great. <sighs> or maybe they could just, like, recomp the movie and do something completely different. Oops. What did I, you do? Am I falling? Stop falling! So, I have to say that the, my favorite uh, Harry Potter movie and book is the first one, because... Goblin. It's just like... Only it, goblins just, can use keys. It's just fun and, like, very sweet and, you know, childlike. And then it just gets very dark, like, later on. Well, I mean, that's what Harry Potter is. I know, but... I Ooh. like things that are happy. Oh, well, that's why I watch, like, a lot of anime, normally. Careful you don't, like, jump off the cliff again. I know, we need our studs. Off you go. You're a wizard! A true wizard! What do I... how do I... That was... Hmm. Oh, we should have had Harry there, because it could have said, You're a wizard, Harry. Harry doesn't do anything. Oh, what? He's a true wizard. Whoa! There's a bat here. Oof. Yeah, but, um, something that, like, uh, people may, like, not, not remember about the first movie, which is kind of interesting, is that, and, and book and stuff, is that one reason why it's so interesting and, like, Harry's all wide-eyed and excited about everything is because he's grown his whole life up in the muggle world. So... And all these... Anyway. Look at all the gold! He's like, can I have it? No. Hagrid? He's like, sure, Harry. It's a goblin party! <laughs> He's like, nope, no, nope, nope, nothing to see there. Sorry. This is yours. So this is like a little bank or something. Yep. Oh, it's time to get the wand! Oh yeah, Hagrid just grabbed something, who knows. Um, yeah, I think there was something like that was implied, like, oh, maybe Hagrid is bad, or... Then it turned out he was good, because he's always good. Hagrid is a good guy. We have a fine selection of sticks! Well... <laughs> they all look the same! Another stick! This is a very special mm. stick. It likes you, Harry. It has magical sparkles. And now Harry Potter has magic. <laughs> Yay! How does it feel? Mm, and there's your own owl. Mm. 
<laughs> he tried to be cool for a second, but it didn't work out well. Ah, yes. The house crest. crest. That was fun. That was not too bad at all. You did most of the work, but... True wizard. Stud total. I'm a what? I just like it because it feels like the old school Lego games. This yeah, is the stuff this is great nostalgia for that us. we really used to play a lot of, like from the Lego Star Wars, Lego Batman, Lego Indiana Jones. Yep. Lego. No, I never did Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. I thought about it. And even then, like, it was so much fun to play. Indeed, it was. Even without dialogue, it was really funny cutscenes and stuff. Yes. Oh, the train station. I did see the first one, the Chamber of Secrets, right? Uh, I believe, sure. I, th I think so. Or, no, the Sorcerer's Stone is the first one. Yeah. I've seen the Sorcerer's Stone and the Chamber of Secrets. Whoa! Pretty sure that's wrong. It's like, whoa! Hogwarts Express! Oops, <laughs> Ron is so much fun. You broke my glasses. Oops. Oh, that's Hermione. Yep. I, probably. I think it is. She always hangs around Ron, but then she says that he's kind of like despicable and she can't stand him when she hangs around him all the time. Which is why these Lego Harry games should really be changed to Hermione and Ron, the game, and the movie. <laughs> There's that one girl. Lady. So this is the hat um, that actually decides what uh, group you're going to be in. There's Snape. <laughs> What? No, 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 I don't want to take it. <laughs> Snake. Yeah, that guy goes to Slytherin. High five. <laughs> Dumbledore is amused. That's actually a really big moment um, that he that he has chosen for Gryffindor. Because the hat originally says Slytherin. But Harry says, no, we don't want to go to Slytherin, basically. Like, I don't know if it's in his head or, like, he whispers it. And then the hat says, okay, you can go to Gryffindor. Ah. So anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching LEGO Harry Potter Collection Episode 1. And special thanks to our friends Warner Brothers for providing a copy of this game. Yay! Make sure you guys like that button or... You yeah, suffer a horrible fate or worse, get expelled. Exactly. Until we meet again, mm -hmm. thanks for watching, and uh, we hope you guys will check out the LEGO Harry Potter collection coming out October 30th for the Switch and Xbox One. Bye-bye. Awesome. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.